Hi everyone, today is April 28, day 22 of Singapore's Circuit Breaker. This is also the beginning of our week number 4. The number of infections has jumped from 12,000 to 14,000 cases in just two days. We have beaten Japan and is now the third highest in Asia, just behind India and China. However, this trajectory will soon slow down. This is because Singapore has adopted a new way of reporting the number of infections. Please watch till the end of the video to hear my views. And now, for the news. There have been some comments that we have uh, reduced the testing of migrant workers, leading to a drop in the number of uh, COVID-19 confirmed cases. Let me say that this is not true. Our testing capacity for migrant workers is about 3,000 a day. We have not reduced it. Instead, we have been increasing the capacity of testing of our migrant workers. The rate of testing has not slowed down. A total of 21,000 migrant workers living in dormitories have been tested since the start of the outbreak. This means that one in 15 migrant workers in dormitories have been tested. This is far higher than the testing rate seen in other countries like Korea, which is one in 90, as well as other countries like US, UK, or even Hong Kong. For dormitories where the assessed rate of infection is extremely high, our efforts are focused on isolating those who are symptomatic, even without a confirmed COVID-19 test. This allows us to quickly provide medical care to these patients. An infectious diseases expert told CNA about this shift in diagnostic criteria and revealed that community isolation facilities are at a choke point as cases surge. The efforts are ramping up now. It will come under control, but uh, there's still a lot of... Uh, we're still at the, in the very early stages of, of sorting this out. This is, uh, the numbers are not really coming down. It's a function of the tests. One of the dormitories, the infection rate is, or the positivity rate of the test is so high, you get to the point where you don't need to test anymore. Uh, but just to say, if you have uh, a clinical respiratory illness, then you almost certainly have COVID. So, so we put those people into isolation straight away. Examples of such dorms include S11 and Sungai Tengah. Prof Fisher says, for example, such cases on Friday, possibly in the hundreds, were not included in the number of new cases. We should aim to, to have those clinical diagnoses eventually included in the numbers. I, I think that's, that honesty is, uh, is important and, and that's what I believe will be the case. And now, let's take a look at the numbers. Our health minister said that all tested cases will be reported. I believe in all honesty this is true. However, I also believe what Prof Dale Fisher said. All dorm residents who show clinical respiratory illness will not be tested. They will be sent straight for isolation and treatment and their numbers will not be reported in a daily total. So viewers, we will begin to see the number of daily infections slowing down from now. I'll talk to you again when there's new developments. So in the meantime, take care and stay safe. Thank you for watching.